Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 20th of October. And let's start on the daily chart for the S&P. We'll also look at the NASDAQ as well. So we've been looking for the move up from the low here as one and two and three and four here, and then moving up for wave five here. So we've been traveling along okay with this, um, but at the moment it's not looking that great. What we were looking for was a nice tested support on 3,500 and we're just simply not getting that. So we need to look at our options. And uh, one of the main sort of takeaways is that this particular move down through here uh, is corrective. So that means that whatever is occurring here can be part of this wave four here. We could also look at this as wave one and two here, then up for one and back for two here as well, which we will do. So we're gonna have a look at some options uh, with all of this. So let's just go to the four hour chart and then the one hour chart and so on. So with wave four at the low here, we had a nice impulse wave here. So we can look at this as wave two here. Um, we can also look at wave two being over on this low here, which would be in line with the NASDAQ as well. It's just that we had a nice sort of impulse wave to the upside here, so I left it at that. Um, it travelled along quite nicely. We can call this wave three here, uh, wave four here, but obviously we can see that this is moving down through here now, so it does cause a lot of problems. We were looking for long trades. Uh, yesterday on top of this uh, high here, um, on top of the 35 um, here, but we just didn't get that. Uh, we don't need these. These are also triggers for the long trade, so we don't need those. So we didn't get into that uh, position on the, on the long side here. So I'll just remove these here. So um, it does really chuck a spanner in the works. There's a couple of things that we need to uh, chat about. So one of the first things is that we could look at, we could view this up here as wave one here and then coming back for wave two in this instance. Um, but I don't think that's the case, uh, possibly, uh, but this here would still need like, if we looked at this as wave one here and two here and three here, we would see four here and five here for this. So it's possible, and that would leave us at, um, if we took it from this low here to that high there, that would leave us pretty close to the 61.8%. So we can't chuck the uh, baby out with the bathwater just yet. So it's possible that we can look at this as wave one uh, and two here. I mean, as a wave four, it's pulled back, you know, just a little bit too much for this, you know. The other option that we've got is... Uh, is this being a wave B here. And we actually got this from Facebook, really. So if I just bring Facebook across over here for a moment, this was also one of the stocks that um, sort of, uh, well, it, 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 it was one of the stocks that actually from the top here, it had one, two, three, four, and five. I know it's probably a little bit difficult to count these guys in, in through here, but um, it does present five waves here. So I was sort of looking at this coming back up into this section here and just seeing what was going to occur here. So on the way up here, we could look at this as one, two, three, four, five, of course, but wave four overlaps wave one a little bit here. Is that a big deal or not? Probably not. Um, uh, so we could also look at it as an A and a B and a C wave here. But one of the things that we're seeing here now is one, two, three, four, five. So we're seeing an impulse to the downside here. So this app, Apple has really been a bit, a little bit of a leader in um, in all all of this. So if that is five waves down, then we'd look for five waves down again, like this as such. So I think we could really be in this situation here for uh, um, for Facebook and um, Amazon's a little bit the same. I mean, but it's, it, so we'd be looking at flat corrections here. So wave three here, an A and a B and a C here for 
uh, had it as wave four, but we can look at it as wave A here. And once again, we also had five waves up uh, here as one, two, three, four, five, but we could look at it as an A, B, C here for the A wave, back for the B wave and up for the C wave, and then we've got a little bit of equality in terms of structure as well, and having the B wave up here, and once again, moving further down. But if we looked at all of that as wave one here, uh, we could look at it as wave two back at this point here. So it hasn't really breached much, but it has also got overlapping wave structures as well. Um, but a flat correction would give us a three wave structure here, three wave structure here, and five waves back down into this space here. So that's on the card. So that also, um, and you know, uh, Google and Watson, all the other guys are pretty much in the same sort of picture as, um, as Amazon to some sort of degree with the NASDAQ here. We've got the same situation with We've, this is NASDAQ 100, of course, we've moved up here. We've got a three-wave correction here. Now, um, so it was possible for the market to push up through here, but we just had to keep an eye on it um, as such. So, uh, yeah, it's also sort of failing as well, a little bit quicker than the S&P, I have to say. So just on the four-hour chart here, we could look at it with a wave four low here. We could look at it as wave one and two here, and then wave one and back for wave two here. But I I, yeah, it's I, I don't think that's the case e either here. So um, once again here, from that low to that high here, that would be the 61.8%. So uh, the 11,500 here is quite a critical level. It's a medium level. It's just halfway between two major levels, 13,000 and 10,000 in this particular instance here. But it also makes nice up here too for, if we look at this as a B wave up here, and this is an A wave down here, just drop that out the way for a moment. And we've got our um, ABC pattern here, which would look like this, uh, here for this so <clears throat> an A wave here a B wave here and a C wave down here I mean we have talked about this a lot with the S&P 500 as well um, so the takeaway here is that we don't ha have any long trade setups of course um, but it, it can appear that we're looking for further downside here. So in these structures here, I was just sort of thinking that we've got one and two in here, three here and four here, and coming down for five. So I'm thinking that we've, if I can just do this here, down for one here, so I'll finish here, and then we'll get a, then it'll be a bounce. So it may even come down to the level here, but just, just pointing out here that um, we'll be looking for something like this here for that. So I think we need to start looking at this as an impulse wave to the downside, a correction, and then down again. So our short trade setup would be over here on the um, into the third wave coming in through here, not so much chasing this down to the low uh, here, even though it's got a, a bit further to go in, the, in that instance. So I think that's the picture we're looking for. So we, we now need to look for... Um, uh, those short trade setups. So if I can just bring Facebook back here again. So here, as I mentioned, we've got one, two, three, four, five here. Now it's probably not finished. There's still probably a little bit to go in all of this. But what we're looking for in our uh, in our setups is really really uh, um, once that bounces back here, then that reference point low here becomes uh, a shorting possibility. But because that's in three waves, he will be able to find um, as many roads to roam, so to speak. So we'll be able to find uh, other ways to move into this. But um, yeah, so I think we just chill out and we look to short this um, third wave down through here. That's about the best uh, we can do at this stage, I think. Just coming back to the S&P here. So the S&P would also be in that uh, in this situation here as well. So just move that out the way, move that up there so we can see a bit of those details. So looking at this as wave three here, an A and a B and a C for the A wave here, an A and a B and a C here for the B wave, and then moving down lower from this point. Um, you know, in our bullish weekly cycle, as I call it, we look from Monday being um, bullish and then a little bit of 
profit taking on Tuesday morning and then the trend resuming again. But we're not seeing that at all. So that just tells me that we're in that when I don't see the bullish weekly cycle in a bullish market, it's telling me that we've got a change in trend. Um, and I think that we need to um, we need to run with this. So um, so what I'll do in the next video, I will be looking for that uh, short trade setup. So just be careful if you start shorting now because we'll we'll end up getting a bit of a bounce at this point. The this low here, um, we'll probably be looking at the Nasdaq more so because this low here is just being breached now, and on the Nasi it's been breached uh, much earlier here. So we could say that this this market is leading to the downside. OK, so that's we, we, we can use the Nasdaq for that. If it was the S&P leading, well, then we would use that more so. But we'll use the um, the other the other one. So, um, yeah, well, uh, that's about it, really. Um, there's a couple of things here. If I just go if we go back to our other count here for a moment, I think it may have been on the four hour chart here. So. Yeah, just talk about this for a second. From this low here to this high here as such, that's the 61.8%. So it's possible that, um, just configure this. It's possible that we can have this as wave, a wave too low here, right? Um, so it's something that we have to work through. So one of our one of the things that we'll be working at is from the move down through here. It's it's likely wave one and two here, and three and four and five here. So um, day traders can expect to bounce off. That's thirty four thirty four. So you know that thirty. Um, 34 here um, is the old high um, so group one will be um, the top of group one at 3400 will be 3430 so you can expect the bounce to come in very close to the 3430 area for this wave four here and then this move down through here as it reaches the 3400 area here that's going to be a little bit choppy so just be mindful of that so what we'll need to do is we'll need to look for uh, this little ABC pattern coming into play here so we really need to uh, nail down that short position if that's going to be the case um, but like I mentioned we can't just chuck out um, if I just pull this down a bit further here so what we can do with this is well let's just get rid of this shall we let's just move this here for a second move this over here push this up to here I mean, it's just, I don't want to marry any particular side. I just want to be, you know, I just want to make money. So this is what we're left with here at this point. Um, I mean, it's also possible to put that wave two here. And then that means that this would be wave three over here and this would be wave four. But we're really pulling back down really quite low here for that. So it's really stretching that particular count. So um, we'll have to move that out of the way, I think. And we'll move that out of the way. Um, so we're left with one and two and one and two. So we'll work with that. Um, but at the same time, uh, and we'll be looking for long trades too tomorrow, but we'll also look for short trades as well. Okay, so we'll tune into that. So I'll leave it at this stage. So we've talked about, just to recap this, we've talked about this being wave one and two and one and two here and then moving up higher for that. And we'll tomorrow we'll look for uh, long trades in, in, that, um, in, in, in that pattern, but we'll also be looking for short trades as well, because if this once this one and two fails here, then this B wave comes into play here and we'll need to be on, we'll need, we'll need to be on the case we'll, to, to get the third of the third in this particular structure coming down here. That's the one we want. 
Um, so, yeah, there we are, really. I don't know what else to say, um, except Brian was right. Brian said um, this is a wave four over here and going up for wave five over here. Just said it just looks too easy, Pete. Um, I tended to agree with him, but uh, we're always hopeful um, that you can't buy hope. So um, there we go. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.